Hello comrades, Kamiasal Bro here today with Fortified. Now just as a quick disclaimer, I was provided a review copy for this video, or for this game and all that good stuff. So just so you know. Alright, this is the third mission. This is not a first look in the sense that this is like my first impressions. I tried to familiar, familiarize myself with the game and I even played uh, quite a couple matches with Agrippa Maxentius, but unfortunately my original video got corrupted. That's right. So, I'm gonna do this little introduction where I explain the game and how it works and uh, also, you know, expect to see some further stuff on my channel uh, between me and Agrippa and maybe someone else. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But without further ado, Fortified is a game that's in the same vein as, uh, you know, like those action kind of shooter tower defense games where you have the enemies come in a straight line down particular uh, pre-made paths and you have to stop them. That's right. So, it, if you've played Orcs Must Die, you're probably very familiar with this style of gameplay. You have weapons that you can use. I'm playing as the rocket scientist, so I've got a grenade launcher and a phase pistol at the start. Um, I can unlock a Tommy gun, but unfortunately I don't really want that all that much. I also have a mortar, an anti-tank gun, and an anti-air cannon. Yeah, so we're gonna pick this one, the Outriggers, because it shoots, uh, shoots in the air. Yeah. Plus, I like all the stuff she has. I mean, her stuff is legit, man. Like, look, she's got a freaking mortar. How awesome is that? And then, like, even better, she's got an anti-aircraft cannon. She's got a, she basically got a Flak 88, like a little mini Flak 88. Look at that. Isn't that freaking precious? Yeah, that's right. It probably wrecks face. I haven't used it yet, so we're about to find out how effective it actually is. Let's see. Can it reach that? E sort of. Um, okay. I feel like that is a good place to put it. And we'll put one on the opposite side. Okay. We can't put one there. So we'll put one here. <laughs> okay. Here. We will put one here. I feel like, again, I've kind of already played this mission, not as her though, so, you know, I kind of know where the aliens are going to come from, but, uh, oh, you know what, I'm going to save the rest of my points for now, let's see if we can actually stop the aliens, uh, these are the flying aliens, the aerial ones, so this might be tough, good thing though, I have a phase pistol to go with my grenade launcher, oh, they're coming from the other side, shoot them down, Flak 88! Oh my god, that thing is wrecking face. Alright, so I basically can just let the Flak 88 do the work, it seems like. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's so much easier to play as the rocket scientist than it is the captain or the, uh, the other person. Yeah, yeah. So I like this. I'm digging this, man. I'm digging this. Pew. That phase pistol. Mm -hmm. So you see the enemies come. Wave by wave. Thank God, these things. Mm, mm. I always liked Flak 88s. Had a special place in my heart for them. Look at that. Look at that. Where are you going? No way. You dying. That's where you going. All right. So it looks like we could use a few more Flak 88s. That's what I'm going to call them because that's what they are. That's what they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Flak 88s. All right. So we'll put like, we'll put one like. Oh, well, no. See, the ground stuff's coming now. Mm, so we'll put an anti-tank gun. And we'll have one more of these. If we can at least make sure that no air units are getting through, then I'm pretty much good. So I can I can take on all the ground units myself. All right. So E, H, E, start the level again. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it, comrades. Don't stop me now. Alright, oh, they're coming from the left. And also, every character has a special ability thing. In this case, the rocket girl gets to fly in the air with a rocket. That's why I haven't used the, the little rocket pack yet. So, just FYI. Keep in mind, there are a few bugs and glitches in the game. Like on this level, whenever I use play as the captain, for some reason, my uh, troops run straight to the escape rocket. Which is weird. And rather than, you know, trying to. Oh, shit. It's under attack. Rather than staying at their post and holding their post, 
Which, again, I can't really show because I'm playing as this woman. But take my word for it. It happens. <laughs> it is a real thing. Hmm. Nice. Effective defense. Effective defense. Yes, let them come. Let those dirty alien bastards come. I will send them back to their dastardly grave from which they came. All that good stuff. One thing I do very much like about this game is I love the aesthetic. This is a really pretty looking game. Like in terms of uh, the, the whole 50s thing, you even get little comic book reels uh, as you play uh, through the campaign. Every so often you'll get like a little cutscene. What's interesting to note, I suppose, is that this game was actually an Xbox Live Arcade game before it got put on PC. And for a port, it's not bad. There's a couple issues here and there. But for the most part, the game is solid. And uh, I like it. I like it. And I, I especially love, like, I like playing as this girl way more than I did playing as um, the leader. Just because I love the emplacements more. These emplacements are so much cooler. Like I said, having having artillery and shit is way more fun uh, than just having like the soldiers to shoot stuff. But that you know, that's just me. I'm one of those people. I like to blow things up with nice big explosive explosive thingies. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. So let's do this. Let's hope this works. All right, here we go. Bring it on. You brain-eating alien bastards! Alright, so it's the flying ones. Well, we should probably reload. God, that Flak 88 is like, nope! Nope! <laughs> Just one big bucket of nope, dear comrades. Suck it. Suck it. One other thing I will point out on this mission, which I'm not going to be able to show because, again, I'm not... Whoops. Well, there's my special ability. Didn't mean to press that. Yeah, that's right. I rule the skies. Aliens made it past. Hold the line. Let no one pass. Yeah, yeah. You like that? You like that? Another really cool thing about her, though, is when she uses her special ability, her ammo becomes infinite. That's right. Let's cut through the little walkway here. Nope. Oh, and your teammates can kill you. Keep that in mind. <laughs> they can and will kill you. Trust me, it's happened to me plenty of times. Especially by the bazooka guys that the uh, commander, the, the leader, has. So, yeah. It kind of sucks, but it happens. Now, back to what I was saying. Another issue that the game uh, has is every so often you'll see, uh, like, bullets and stuff like that get caught up in various, like, shell casings. But they float in the air and phase in and out of existence. It's weird. Like, shell casings that should have disappeared, you know, a while ago seem to come back. And yeah, it's just weird stuff like that. You know, tiny little aesthetic details, mind you. Not that big of a deal. But it is worth noting uh, for, for those who don't like that type of stuff. And especially, it seems like something that might be able to be easily patched out. It's not like a huge, huge game changer, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that dude thought he was going to come up in here and blow my stuff up. So this is the basic premise of the game. You know, it's a simple tower defense game. There's not much to uh, it. It's just, it's mostly trying to figure out the most effective means to stop the enemies, yet also using what little resources you have to, uh, you know, build up some pretty good defenses and still uh, be able to run back and forth and kill the aliens. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fun. I like I like games like this. Uh, Orcs Must Die too, especially like me and my uh, me and my girlfriend would play that game all the time. It's probably one of my favorite tower defense esque games I've ever played, just because it was done so incredibly well. Uh, and this one, this one's done pretty well as like it, from what I've played so far, it is done very well. The like I said, there's only a few like graphical issues here or there that kind of uh, that that. Are unfortunately are incredibly noticeable you can't help but notice them but they don't break the game in any means uh, for me anyway so yeah I mean it's a pretty good game I really suggest it for people that are into this type of thing and yeah all that good stuff I mean I don't really know what else to say about it you see it you see it right here what I'm playing 
Keep in mind, there is four-player co-op. There are four different characters. Each one does have different weapons uh, that they're able to use, different emplacements that they use in the game. So, you know, there's enough replayability there. I have not played through the entire game at this point. Um, I, again, I've only gotten to the third level. But I played the third level three. This is my third time playing the third level as different characters. Uh, just because I keep wanting to try out what the other people got. And again, I'm really, th I'm really digging this one. I love all the explosive, all the explosive stuff. This is great. I just sit here and shooting freaking grenades, and then having my anti-tank guns just freaking pummel these guys to death. It's just awesome. Then flak 88s and artillery. Well, this is basically a Nebelwerfer. That's just great. Who, who, who doesn't want a Nebelwerfer in their life? I know I do. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope uh, if this is a game that you find interesting, that you'll go and support the developers. Personally, I think it's worth it. It's only about 15 bucks, and uh, you know, you never know. They might do some extra DLC and stuff to throw in with the game. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, and maybe some more uh, more character types and stuff like that. I'd pay for that. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, and I'll see you guys next time.